Hi guys, my name is Maya and I did my project on Florine Stettheimer's The Cathedral series. This series is located at the Metropolitan Museum of Art, otherwise known as the Met. It is located in New York City and I actually visited the museum over spring break. It was founded in 1870 and a fun fact if you didn't know it is the famous Met Gala hosted by American Vogue's editor Anna Wintour is hosted at this museum every year and it has been since 1995. The gala is a fundraiser dedicated to New York City's Metropolitan Museum of Art Costume Institute. The Met is actually one of my favorite museums. I've been lucky enough to go several times and it is so large, you've never seen the same work of art twice. It's just so big, you notice something new every time. Um, the Met is home to many famous artists that we studied this semester, such as Georgia O'Keeffe, Van Gogh, and Claude Monet. Um, the Met does not just display paintings. They also have sculptures, carvings, costume exhibits, and large structures, such as an Egyptian temple. Um, I've included some photos. The top right is Anna Wintour, American Vogue's editor at the Met Gala. Um, the bottom left is the museum itself. That's the front of it. And the bottom right is a picture I took the last time I went. And as you can see, some of the carvings and sculptures in this room. Florian Stettheimer was an American modernist painter. She was born in New York in 1871, and she died in 1944. She went to art school in Europe and in America. Her family briefly lived in Europe throughout her time. She was um, influenced by post-impressionists. Her new self-portrait was influenced by another piece we studied in class, Botticelli's Birth of Venus. Um, Stettheimer often used thick paint to make her canvases look embroidered. Um, her family was very rich, so she didn't have to sell art to participate or to support herself. Um, so that's pretty much why she didn't participate in traditional galleries or museum shows. Instead, she preferred to display her work on her own terms at invitation only events. She liked to call her birthday parties. To the right, we have a picture of Florine, and this was actually one of the only photos that I could find of her. And in the bottom, we have her self portrait. Stettheimer's most famous works parodied the society that she lived in, and that was upper-class New York City. She was very well aware that she was privileged, and um, the paintings reflect New York's economic, social, and cultural institutions. From left to right, the paintings display Broadway, Fifth Avenue, Wall Street, and New York's three major art museums. The medium is oil and canvas, and they are found in the Modern and Contemporary Art Department. The first piece we have is Stettheimer's collection, The Cathedrals of Broadway, and it was painted in 1929. According to the description of the Met, The Cathedrals of Broadway captures the magical atmosphere of neon-lit theaters, which offered films as well as live performances. Um, so in the bottom, I'll have the picture that I took while I was at the museum, and to the right, I'll have an up close so it makes it easier to look at and analyze. In the middle of the canvas, we can see the mayor at the time of New York, Jimmy Walker, throwing out the first pitch of baseball season. And all around the arch are famous theaters she has painted. This photo has a lot of primary and secondary colors. She's kind of done a mix of both. The second piece is the Cathedrals of Fifth Avenue. This was painted in 1931. Um, we can see a newly wedded couple leaving the church, and they are described to be ready to begin life of excess and of acquisition. Above, Stettheimer has painted the names of exclusive shops and restaurants, such as Tiffany's. Um, one thing that I did notice about this is each restaurant or store has um, the word painted out in the items that they sell or serve. So, for example, Tiffany's is a jewelry store, and it is painted in, like, diamonds and jewels. 
To the right of the painting, we can see Stethammer and her three sisters exiting a limo. She often likes to include herself or feature herself in her paintings. The third piece is the Cathedrals of Wall Street, and it was painted in 1939. This work unites various public figures with major financial establishments of the day. Etched at the top of the monument in the middle, we see three financial leaders, Bernard Barak, John D. Rockefeller, and J.P. Morgan. In this painting, Stettheimer also paints a group of Salvation Army workers, and she's in this photo as well. She's in the bottom holding a bouquet of flowers. Um, this is actually my least favorite of the bunch. What drew me to these paintings were, you know, the vibrant colors, but this really just includes four main colors. And I think the reason that they have these red, whites, and blues, and they have gold is because it has to do with politics, and, you know, those are the colors of our country. The fourth and last piece is the Cathedrals of Art, and it was painted in 1942. This piece represents the major museums of New York City, and they are being watched over by their directors. In the top left, we see the Museum of Modern Art. In the center, we see the words Metropolitan, and that represents the Met. And in the top right, we see the Whitney Museum of American Art being represented by the Eagle. Stettheimer's in this photo, and she is among a group of art critics, dealers, and photographers. This is my personal favorite out of the group because of all of the different pinks and reds. She's included a lot of color in this photo, and like I said, that's what drew me to her painting. So this is my personal favorite. So I figured we could wrap up by testing our knowledge with a few questions. The first one says, where is the Metropolitan Museum of Art located? California, Georgia, New York, or Washington? Second is true or false. Stettheimer relied on her art to support her. Third is what department can the works of art be found in at the Met? Medieval art, Greek and Roman art, the American wing, or in modern and contemporary art? Fourth, in the cathedrals of Wall Street, who is not painted at the top of the monument? Bernard Barak, J.P. Morgan, George Washington, or John D. Rockefeller? And finally, when was the Cathedrals of Broadway painted? 1949, 1929, 1939, or 1871? So the first answer is C, New York. Second is false. Third is D, modern and contemporary art. Fourth is George Washington. And George Washington's actually in the photo. There is a statue of him, but he is not one of the three listed at the top of the monument. And fifth is B, 1929. So thank you guys for watching my presentation and I hope you enjoyed it.